Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you some Proverbs chapter 28, the reading and reflection from the Hope Church in Richmond, Virginia. The highlighted verse to today, for today is chapter 28, verse 5. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. Thought. Justice is a major expression of the righteousness in the heart of God. Those who seek to love God will necessarily seek justice for all people. Justice is meant to be a concern for all of us, and it runs the gamut from our small daily interactions with one another to the weightiest, large-scale issues of the day. My, I have my own takeaway on this one. So it says, evil men do not understand justice. Justice, justified, just as if I'd never sinned, is to be justified. But those who seek the Lord understand it fully. You guys, this that sentence alone is seek the Lord. Know where you are facing. What are you putting your eyes on? What we focus on is what we manifest. What are you looking at? What are you looking towards? And then it says understand fully. We, that's when we receive. We can then have this level of understanding, but it takes intention to turn away from the culture and toward the kingdom. I also did another quick reflection on this and it was like, you know, what's some of the commentary? In this, what we're going to be paying attention to, and I love contrast, things down here in the culture versus living up here in the kingdom. And the wicked notice things about guilt, living from fear. It says um, guilty conscience fear of judgment, suspicion of others. So wickedness is living and coming from a place of fear, deceit, worry, doubt, versus living from a place of righteousness, doing that which is right. And again, righteousness is a gift that we receive when we shed the shackles of shame, shed the shackles of guilt, shed fear and learn to trust in the Lord. His plans are greater than anything we can ever imagine. So on to chapter 28. The wicked man flees, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. When a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a man of understanding and knowledge maintains order. A ruler who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain that leaves no crops. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law resist them. Verse 5. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. Better a poor man whose walk is blameless than a rich man whose ways are perverse. He who keeps the law is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons disgraces his father. He who increases wealth by exorbitant interest amasses it for another who will be kind to the poor. If anyone turns a deaf ear to the law, even his prayers are detestable. 10. He who leads the upright along an evil path will fall in its own traps, but the blameless will receive a good inheritance. A rich man may be wise in his own eyes, but a poor man who has discernment sees through him. When the righteous triumph, there is great elation, but when the wicked rise to power, men go into hiding. He who conceals his sins does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Blessed is the man who always fears the Lord. He who hardens his heart falls into trouble. Five, like a roaring lion or a charging bear is a wicked man ruling over a helpless people. A tyrannical leader lacks judgment, but he who hates ill-gotten gain will enjoy a long life. A man tormented by guilt of murder will be a fugitive till death. Let no one support him. He whose walk is blameless is kept safe. He whose ways are perverse will suddenly fall. He who works his land will have abundant food, but he who chases fantasies will have his fill of poverty. 20. A faithful man will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, yet a man will do wrong for the piece of bread. A stingy man is eager to get rich and is unaware that poverty awaits him. 
He who rebukes a man will in the end gain more favor than he who has a flattering tongue. He who robs his father and mother and says it's not wrong, he is the partner to him who destroys. 25, a, great, a greedy man stirs up dissension, but he who trusts in the Lord will prosper. He who trusts in himself is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom is kept safe. He who gives to the poor will lack nothing. He who closes his eyes to them will receive many curses. When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding, but when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. So words of wisdom and knowing where we're coming from, when we're coming from a place of fear versus coming from a place of love and trust. So learning this about ourselves, and again, our behaviors will reflect our beliefs. And when our beliefs are anchored in fear, when they're anchored in shame or guilt or regret or remorse, we need to shift to a place of thanksgiving and come from a heart of mercy, righteousness, not because we've done anything, but it is because of what he has done with us, within us, through us. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.